Um, the Peter Quillen fight, I mean, this is a toss-up. I mean, really, it is. Anybody out there who know what Peter Quillen looks like, they would tell you, like, Peter Quillen is getting better and better with each fight. But the inactivity of Peter Quillen is not a good thing. He needed to stay active. Because I feel Peter Quillen is about at least two years, maybe three years away from being really, really good. He's really green to me. I mean, a lot of people in the Mayweather camp, everywhere around, they real high on Peter Quillen. And I'm not saying it's not a reason to be. I mean, the guy's good marketing. He's a great person as far as selling something for you. I just don't feel at this stage that he is ready for Andy Lee. I mean, yeah, he can outbox Andy Lee a little bit if when he, if he's active. But the problem is with Andy Lee is he's battle tested. He didn't been in the in the great in the grease what we call. He didn't been in the grease. You can have him hurt. You can have him almost out on his feet. But the boy can catch you with a shot and put you right to sleep. And Peter Chen isn't the solidest. <laughs> <laughs> in the game, you know, we saw him go weeble wobble a lot of times. And will it be enough to get him through? Will he need some Heyman support? We don't know. But do he have the power to really put Andy Lee on his back? Yeah, he do. But Andy Lee could throw sneaky counter shots that Peter won't see coming because Peter squares up a lot. He telegraphs all his punches. He looks where he's going to punch all the time. There's basically no feints coming. It's just a one-two, and then when he gets really tired, it comes out sluggish to jab, and you can counter his jab. It's a very dangerous fight for Peter Quillen with Andy Lee. So, hey, I mean, I don't know which way I'm going, but right now, I would say... uh Peter Quillen by a controversial decision. That would be the safest bet to take. But if you're a risk taker and you're looking for a live dog, you look at the odds and say, I'm betting Peter Quillen. I mean, I'm betting Andy Lee because that makes more sense. I think Andy Lee got more shot of a knockout than Peter Quillen. And Peter Quillen, I believe, is stronger. Just is what it is. Y'all tell me what you think. Because I'm telling y'all one thing. <laughs> Do not count Andy Lee out. That's what you better never do. Don't ever count Andy Lee out of a fight. No matter how you think the fight is going. 